Hey, what's up, Cerebralites? It is she, the Cerebral Diva, and she is back and officially in the building with a brand new video for your listening and viewing pleasure. Um, it's been a while, you guys. I know, I know it has been quite some time, but today was just one of those days where I felt inspired, so I wanted to come and sit down and talk about a couple of things that have been happening and um, sort of add my two cents to the conversation. So here we are. Um, I hope everyone has been holding up great during this quarantine thing. It's been a crazy roller coaster ride. Um, definitely one for me. Um, just a lot going on in my personal life that has been really all consuming. And one of the primary reasons why I haven't been here recording videos and talking to you guys as much as I probably would like to. But having said that, let's let's talk about what's going on outside of me and what's happening in the world. Um, Jada Pinkett and Alka Salsina. Can we start there? Let's have that conversation. Um, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to unpack, but not a whole lot at the same time. I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I've just reached a point in my life where I just don't care about... How do I say this without <laughs> sounding selfish? Like, I don't care about the parts of people's lives that don't have an impact on mine. That's probably the best articulation of how I feel. Who Jada Pinkett sleeps with is really none of my business. Who Alvis Alcina sleeps with is really none of my business. Um, don't really care. I mean, whatever they choose to do, not do, whatever they choose, whatever parameters that Will and J Jada choose to operate within the confines of their relationship and they're okay with, I'm okay with. Two consenting adults. I really don't see the story here. I'll be completely honest with you. Two adult people having an intimate relationship happens every single day, countless times a day, um, thousands of times per second around the globe. Adults are having intimate relationships with other adults. So I don't see what the big deal is. Now, people are really, really invested in this story. I guess maybe so more so because Jada and Will are sort of the pinnacle of, of black love they're sort of the the emblem of black love and so people hold them t in a higher regard i guess <laughs> on one hand you i think that but on the other hand you hear all of these whisperings these murmurings about the relationship between the two of them and how they have this non-traditional open relationship um, and again, if they do, so what? So what if they have an open relationship? Here's the thing, right? A lot of people are in open relationships and don't even realize that they're in open relationships. Um, I've, I've come to have a newfound respect for open relationships. At the very least, I've come to have, have a newfound respect for an open dialogue. Like people always, I don't think a lot of people can handle honest adult conversations like how many people could be in a relationship if their partner came and said to them i'm not as attracted to you as i was at one point and i'm thinking about seeing other people most people would not be able to handle that conversation something about their insecurities would be triggered by that level of honesty that it would send them really if your partner came to you and said, hey, I'm just not happy. I don't find you physically attractive anymore. I still love you. I still care about you as a person. I still have compassion and empathy. Um, I still want the life, the partnership, the friendship that we built together. All of those things I love. The physical attraction has just diminished. It's just not there anymore for me. I don't want the relationship to be over. I want to see other people physically. Most people myself included <laughs> myself included wouldn't be able to to handle conversations like that and that's an awareness that i'm having to have when i think about these type of types of relationships because i think most of us were groomed into believing that monogamy is the only way and anything outside of monogamy um is malignant is that really the is, is that really the case though um, so that's why when I hear about this this whole situation with Jada in August, I, it's really much to do about nothing in my opinion. Will was okay with it. 
Um, the two of them were separated. They had an adult conversation about it. You know what I mean? Will and Jada are still together. You know, their their relationship has withstood whatever, whatever turmoil, what, whatever upheaval was happening in the moment this, that this whole um, adulteration of August Alcina, August Alcina happened. Whatever happened in that moment in time has passed and the two of them seem stronger and more fortified moving forward. So I really don't understand why people are so um, discombobulated, so um, out of sorts about about this whole story. So what? <laughs> Jada, and then if people want to play the whole May-December thing about Jada being older than August Alcina and Jada taking advantage of August Alcina, I don't think that... If anyone, let me tell you who has the right to be upset. If anyone in this um, permutation of intimacy has the right to be upset, it would be Jaden, right? Because August was Jaden's friend, you know, and he brought August around the family. So I could see how it would make Jaden uncomfortable. I could see how he would be bothered or perturbed by the two of them forming this intimate relationship and how that would be embarrassing for him. Um, outside of that, I don't see why anyone anyone else is really invested or anyone else is really upset. Maybe I'm just too liberal. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too liberal. I'll say this, you know, I mean, it, there's so many things going on in the world, you know, just everything with the coronavirus, everything with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, police brutality, um, gun violence in places like Chicago. Um, you know, there's just so many other things that are happening, in my opinion, that deserve conversations on a greater level than, than we're um, giving them. That I hate even taking time to talk about, you know, an intimate relationship between two people that's really none of my business. No one died. They're both alive. Um, I don't really like the timing of August coming out with this because it does seem a bit self-serving, in my opinion. Like... You know, why wait until you have an album to promote to come out and start talking about this? That seems a little shady, if I'm being completely honest. But who am I to tell him when he can tell his story? You know, I mean, hey, <laughs> it happened to him. He can share it when he wants to. Um, it's his story. It's his platform. He can do it um, when he chooses to. I'm just saying that the optics of it, when you take a step back and look at it in association with the, com with the new album coming out, does seem a little self-serving in my opinion but hey it's business so um yeah it's, if you can tell that this is really a struggle for me to talk about right because it's like it's stupid <laughs> it's just so 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 very stupid so i'm really interested to see um and to hear from you guys tell me what you think about this whole jada pinkett august alcina drama because i'm at a loss it just it's really none of my business and therefore I really don't care so I'm going to end the video here so anyway you guys as always in closing remember to live better love harder and think smarter